Hello, here's a better way to manage your different releases if you're on a QA testing team. So here we can see all the releases that we're working on uh, currently and their build links, who the tester is, some of the, the key information about them. But if I wanted to create a new release, I can do so like this. We call all of our releases uh, different fruits, vegetables, and food groups. I'm going to select the module that we're testing and the type of test that we do. And both of these are going to uh, look at the test set templates here. And it's going to determine which test that we want to pull through. So all I have to do on this table is create the test sets. It's going to be pulling from that template there. It's slowly queuing up all the tests that we need to do. Perfect. And if I wanted to add any other pieces of information for this, uh, this release, I can as well. This release dashboard will show me uh, all the tests that I'm, I'm running. In reality, you probably for these uh, have a failed and passed test that equals the total amount of tests if we've done a full release. This is just a demo. We can see on Lettuce all the total tests that have just come in, 28, and we have it passed or failed any of them. Now, in this case, it's going to look at the most recent session, Lettuce. We can have a fancy formula which looks at the release table and just looks for the most recent. Uh, one that was created there. So it's pulling in lettuce. And I can see it's pulled in all the types of tests that I want. So I'm going to start doing that. This one failed. This one uh, I passed. Let's say that I start passing a whole bunch of these. You'll start seeing that show up here on the release dashboard. And now I'm starting to pass more. If I wanted to look at a historical view and keep things like butter and milk, I can do that here. So those are all the different release views. And then in the base tables folder, you'll see basically all this data, but in more like the database form. So all the releases and all the data sets that were going off of them, including percent past, the template that it pulls from, all the different releases and all the different steps that I'm doing for them, and then just some simple select lists that help drive the, the model up front. So hope this helps you as a QA team get off of Google Sheets if you're doing a lightweight version or some heavier tool. It's a really nice lightweight tool and it's easy to customize. So hope you all start using it.